Um, another another microscopic criticism. Microscopic. Okay, I'll say it. Is when, <laughs> is when when I do the count when I do the countdown at the beginning of the video where it's like seven, six, five, four, three, boop. Do do you know why it beeps on two? Just generally speaking. No. It beeps on two. So there's a second of silence before. Oh, the video and I begins. keep talking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so you should like have you, said something sooner. You, I mean, because it's not like that big of a deal. Because I could see the wave file, so I could just like chop it down. But it's like it's it beeps at two, so you know when the countdown ends, and you sync your video and audio like editing mm. style, and then you have one second of silence, and then the video starts. Okay. Well, sorry. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Shalom, this is David. Hi, David. This is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. This My video is Jeff. still real loud. Sorry about that. Um... I am coming to you surrounded by puppies. Oh, puppies. <laughs> oh, so also cool. here, it, it, it seems like the audio recording is more new. It sounds like it's coming from a uh, a, a fresher CPU. Yeah, it's, it is it is almost like I have some ridiculously awesome friends, and they're just like, oh, your computer died. Well, let me give you this laptop that is better than your computer in every conceivable way. Well, except, yeah, the video it's, card. The video card's a little worse, but it's... It's made up for by the fact that I can, you know, run multiple programs at once without my computer. Uh, anyway, I think that noise just freaked out the puppies. Uh, uh -huh. They're not, yeah, just the puppies. So nothing <laughs> yes. else. No one else. Yeah. Uh, they're uh, they're not actually puppies. Puppies is just what I refer to every dog as, mm -hmm. no matter how all old. Dogs, all dogs are puppies. All dogs this are puppies. Um, so we are back playing Exodus. Mm -hmm. We are uh, back wa watching you destroy all the tiles <laughs> for for while i can um and this is me starting a chain reaction and running away mm -hmm. so uh for for viewers uh who have been paying attention there is a a bit of a theme we're going for with every set of videos uh, with bible buffet it's food with yeah, uh, that, that happened naturally yeah yeah <laughs> it seemed logical with spiritual warfare it's whatever uh, it's whatever <laughs> But with Exodus and, and uh, the sequel Joshua, it's it's specifically about music. And last time we talked a bit about um, contemporary Christian music and the, mm -hmm. the Chris Tomlins of the world and how music is, is simple specifically for, you know, uh, the people who have to play it or the people who have to sing congregationally, uh, which is uh, which brought to mind the band you like, uh, one of the bands you like, Thrice. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Thrice. So, also, I died. <laughs> <laughs> Moses, no. <laughs> and now we're back here. We're like, no, this, no, no this. that doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. Eh, it's fine. It's, there's time to. There's time. There's time. Uh, Thrice is a band. I don't. What, I wouldn't say one of my favorite bands, but I really do like Vaisu. Or Vaisu. It's hard to say. The dude. No, no, the name of the, the CD specifically oh, that I'm thinking okay. of is called Vaisu. Vaisu, okay. It's like V-H-E-I-S-S-U. I -S 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 I don't know if that's exactly how you spell it. Uh, I uh, can check uh, using I'm... the magic of Dr. Google, but that's all right. But yeah, the guy who... It, thank you for the sound effects. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, the guy who's the singer for that is like thrice is not a Christian band, mm -hmm. but it's very obvious that the guy doing the lyrics, who is the the singer slash guitar player, um, is because like reading the lyrics for the songs on Vaisu was very, I don't know, it was very surprising because it was I did not know anything about them going into it, and I was like, this pretty much seems like he's talking about Paul or like. <laughs> this is pretty clearly talking about being like if we have a line like we are sons and heirs of grace we are children of a light that never dies of like a light that never dims keep your head up child and wipe the tears from your eyes that kind of thing mm -hmm. I'd say I'm gonna say that's about 90% correct for based on memory I was like, mm, I think yeah. it might be talking about God. Yeah, <laughs> I just think maybe. so. Just mm. maybe. maybe, just maybe. Were. So I looked him up, and yeah, he was actually even like the um, 
uh, I guess, worship leader. Very brief. They had a very brief tenure as worship leader at like Mars Hill Church, which is in a thing from. Hey, that's a you know, that's this a is, new thing. This is a decent graphic. Now yeah. you're not going to get many more of them. Okay. Hi, Malcolm. Hey, you want to be cuddled? Hey, Malcolm. Ma- Malcolm is one of the the puppies. <laughs> Just to for you, the full one that got kicked off the couch when I was yes, playing PT. That's true. That's true. That did happen. Yes. All right. Continue. So yeah, the first time I heard the first time I heard uh, thrice in this example is in college. So I'm at U of H, and it was actually one of the. It was like a music video that came on just because they just play music videos at like the cafeterias and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it was "Image of the Invisible." Which is a pretty neat song. It has a pretty good video too. But the image of the invisible is the Im- the image of the invisible God. That's what it's about. Okay. So it's like the lyrics are like, "We're more than carbon and chemicals. We're an image of the invisible." Oh, and that's like, thrice. Yes. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, I do know it's that. From, it's from it's from Vaisu even. Oh man. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's a pretty neat song. Actually. Image of the Invisible was on one of the rock bands's, or maybe it was a guitar hero. I think it was one of the rock bands. It was a plasticky well. guitar-y thing. Yeah, a plastic guitar game. So there's another place I knew it. Uh, and my friend uh, Kevin got me the CD, mm. uh, and that's where I heard the rest of the songs. The songs that I like the most from that is actually Music Box, which starts with a musical quote from Sakura, which is like a Japanese folk song. You know, mm. dun 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 dun. Dun 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 and then heavy guitars and then that's the one that has the lyrics that have So that's the one with the um we're sons and heirs of grace. Right. We're children of a light that never dies. Was that has you looking up the lyrics? No, I was trying to remember because I, I remembered something else I wanted to say about Music Box halfway in between that <laughs> sentence. So I was like, I'll finish the previous sentence, come back to the next thing. You see, the difference so between you and me lyric- is I don't stop that previous sentence. I just bleed them together. <laughs> you just whoop. You got a new sentence now. So one of the lyrics at the end of the song, and this one I will look up just to make sure it's... Uh, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I remember what it was, but I'm bad with lyrics, so... Gox lyrics. No, not by Eminem. Uh, <laughs> you have to add thrice. Mm-hmm. So thrice. Da, 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 da. Oh, real quick. There's a, a picture coming up. If nope, nope, not this one. Sorry. Also, that's leprosy. He didn't just dip his hand in paint. Ah, I looked at the lyrics and it wasn't quite what I thought they were. No. Well. It's it's half of what I thought it was. The other half, anyway. So, it Wait, just real, has an real interesting. Quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, this level is actually a lot more complex, but still easy. Continue on. All right then. Uh, at the very end of the song, the chorus, the last line of the chorus, which is "Wipe the tears from your eyes," goes immediately into "Stand ready and tall, reflect the light." Mm-hmm. So, but I now what I heard. I like a little bit better. This can sometimes happen. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So it's... What I heard was, Stand ready in victory, reflect Uh. the light. Actually, stand stand in victory, reflect... That's not what it says. But the first part of what I heard was correct. So it's it's interesting because the very last word, eyes, becomes the pronoun for the next statement. Mm -hmm. And then the end and the beginning, they kind of mix together. So it's like, wipe the tears from your eyes, stand ready and tall reflect the light <clears throat> which musically is a fun thing it's which yes which i thought it said victory and then the last syllable of victory i thought bled into the first syllable of reflect the light so it was like write the tears from your eyes stand ready and victory reflect the light so like gnashing through different that's not true never mind <laughs> <laughs> so i get for reading the lyric sheets <laughs> you uh you ruin your your uh memory <laughs> your okay, better so memory it is the lyrics to the chorus, which I was 90% sure on, was We are not alone, we feel an unseen love. We are sons and heirs of grace. We are children of a light that never dims, a love that never dies. Keep your chin up, child, and wipe the tears from your eyes. Okay. It's good stuff.
right, so right here, song. just to point out, I am not picking up that mana because uh, right there, because I was afraid it would make that crush all the mana under it, and then I remembered how the physics in this game works. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you remembered physics, okay. Well, physics <laughs> in this game, if we're, we're being specific. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So this, the reason I'm talking about Thrice, or at least the reason that Thrice came up, mm -hmm. um, is because there's a lot of... Uh, what do I call like secular Christian bands? Maybe mm -hmm. there's there's Christian bands in quotes, and there's a different like that covers a whole bunch of different genres as well. Right. I mean, there's Christian metal bands, and you know we got your like Christian folk bands, Petra, or your your Petras and your Stripers. Mm -hmm. if you're oh, talking about like you, thrash. Can, you always love your Stripers. Uh, but there's even like more modern like death metal and uh, death core and um, metalcore. Which is always a fun thing to explain to people. Yeah, it's, it's hard to explain to people. <laughs> it's Well, it's not actually that hard. Well, so one's called Demon Hunter, which is like the perfect name. That is a great name. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Run, Moses! Okay. <laughs> and we lost a mana, but it's okay. We only oh, no. need two more to meet quota, so we're fine. Uh, let's see, there was... Oh, fun fact, if you don't have explosives, You can't finish the level. <laughs> okay, fun times. <laughs> but you get 20, so you should be fine. Mm, so there's like a Christian like gore grind band called Impending Doom. It might be just Deathcore. Um, I don't know the impending difference. Impending Doom. It's hard to it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, uh, you're. I, I stopped differentiating between metal back in the Viking oh. phase. So. Okay, Deathcore, according to Wikipedia. Thank oh, you. Okay, thank you. If Wikipedia. it weren't for Wikipedia, how would we know the genres of things? <laughs> we wouldn't. This okay, so there's there's two things about this band that I think is hilarious. Mm. One, they refer to their style of music as gore ship. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> which as it says, worshiping God through gore sounding music, which is talking about gore grind, which mm -hmm. is just like extremely fast guttural, just like right. nothing but blast beats kind of whatever. I don't really like gore grind. Oh, but, oh you know. look at this picture. We're gonna see a lot of it. Mm. Hmm. Hi, Malcolm. Please don't lick my face right next to the mic. So, I don't like gore grind, grindcore, deathcore as much. Metalcore, sometimes, sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. More of a progressive metal slash um, Gothenburg, like, <laughs> melodic death metal person. But, I digress. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's hilarious, other than the, um, well, actually, it's another portmanteau. So, the first one being gore ship, which is mm -hmm. hilarious. Yes. Uh, their own. They created their own symbol called the Repentogram. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I like that a lot. That's great. The Repentogram know. is the like the best thing that I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real quick, uh, we picked up the I think like the anointed oil or whatever, which lets us uh, hit the radioactive blocks without killing ourselves. All right. You can yes, you can avoid radiation with this jaunty tube. <laughs> but only the radioactive like boulders. I don't think it protects us from the radioactive squares, but I'm not sure. Also, don't shoot the radioactive boulders or squares because it shoots your words back at you. <gasps> oh, Malcolm, don't move. You're right next to all of the cables. Hi. <laughs> I'm just gonna we're gonna lose David in a second here. We we'll might. know why. We'll know exactly why. Alright, Malcolm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pick I'm gonna move you. All right. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, nope. There goes the mouse. Now I can't see the screen. Uh, okay. I can see. Hear it. Inspired by Lamb of God, Sipnot Fear Factory, Corn, Nile, Aborted, Despised Icon, Mashuga, Nine Inch Nails, Radiohead, Napalm Test, Suffocation, Metallica, Comic Corpse, Station, Strange, Slide, Diving, Good Living, Stream, Morbid Angel, many others. Okay. I like some of those. Yeah, some of those are good. I, I, I enjoy a good Mashuga song every now and then i i i think i like uh mashuga song i'm not sure i like soul burn mostly because i use it as an example for um a polyrhythm example when i'm teaching drums mm -hmm. yeah because the 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 riff in that song is just one and rest three and rest one and rest three and four and one and rest <laughs> so that's that's the guitar part but what makes it complicated is the uh, the drum part that goes over it, which is in threes. So it's like doing a six eight. So like triple lit, triple lit one and triple lit one. And oh hey, look, it's lit. that picture oh, almost it, again, except Pharaoh's eyes are big. 
And there's a snake. <laughs> That's a pretty good expression, actually. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so uh, the other, hold on. Go ahead. The other thing is that the drum part is in threes, but it only does every other, um, every other of the three on the um, mm -hmm. hi hat, open hi hat. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put it. <laughs> I'll put a clip in here so as an example. <laughs> so people editing. know what you're yeah, talking like, about. What, what the heck I'm talking about? Right. me prepping to make the death run um all right so which the complicated and all that brings us way back yes to the contemporary bands that are kind of christian um yeah. the uh something that that comes up a lot in just musician or musical groups where oh that's me showing off that Ooh. the words fly back um is that Christian music has to be accessible to a certain point is that mm -hmm. you have musicians that are really good but are discouraged from actually playing their instrument mm -hmm. really well because you're essentially told if you make it too complex or too riffy or too heavy or too whatever no one's going to uh, listen to it or it's not going to help with worship so or you, and or as the argument goes, which is understandable, it becomes more about um, a performance than right. like actually worshiping, right. which is an understandable. And this is something that I've thought about a lot. <laughs> I wonder why, <laughs> because because I really do like playing drums, mm -hmm. um, and like the 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 genres that I would pref like I prefer playing just mm -hmm. for fun are usually more you know like technical technical you know right. like metal and progressive metal and stuff mm -hmm. like that right 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 you know with some with double bass pedal in it and crazy time signatures possibly you know those kinds of things right. uh, those things are not in worship music now, they don't they don't have to be either um but they, but they can be they can be and they make music yeah. more fun for you specifically sure so i eventually this this idea of like basically holding back um so the conclusion I eventually came to is now nah, find a reference. <laughs> While he's looking for the reference, this level is supposed to teach you how to crush enemies with everything, because that's really the only thing you can do to kill a lot of these guys. Uh, shooting these guys, I believe, stuns them briefly. Still googling. Hold on. Oh God. <laughs> oh, got it. All right. Well. Uh, well, Jeff was talking about how he likes the polyrhythms and the more technical side of things. I don't necessarily like the music to be more technical. I like it to be groovier. Um, That's true. I do like that too. So, like, oh, uh, and when I say I prefer a thing, that means I, it doesn't mean that I don't like the other things. It's just that you know you prefer one. Yes. Yeah. I, internet. Uh, the like uh, a prime example is the song. Um, I saw the light, Bart Millard's version of it. He threw a real catchy riff at the front of it, and that made a song that is somewhat annoying for me to play at times a lot of fun. Um, but uh, there's a guitarist in Christian circles, Lincoln Brewster, who's actually a phenomenal guitarist, uh, who, uh, whenever we play his songs, uh, depending on uh, what's going on, we may cut part of the solos that he plays. Not because our guitarists can't play them, but because they're like a minute long. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, for some members of the audience, that's a bit much. Which is why so, we, we don't do as much Stevie Ray Vaughan as we used to. Also, oh, I like this picture. <laughs> that is bleak. <laughs> that is pretty bleak. That's pretty metal. Also, they only had, like, four dead fish, and then they just copy-pasted. I'm pretty sure that's a Slayer album cover. <laughs> <laughs> it might very well be. Now, this is where we... This is actually the level where, when I was a kid, I would generally just stop playing, because it's like, man, this is requiring too much thought. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Which says a lot about me as a kid, probably. That this is the thing that broke me. Uh, but you got your reference, so... Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's Psalm 33.3. 3. 
So it comes from the book of Psalms, which, you know, seems appropriate. Yeah. Uh, the, the verse is, it says, sing to him a new song, play skillfully and shout for joy. Yeah, you know, not that complicated of a verse. No. Uh, but it's one I took to heart because, <laughs> well, the, the three, there's three points in here. It's, there's three clauses mm -hmm. and there's three main points. Sing to him a new song. Which, you know, I take to mean you don't have to always do, you know, the like same song stuff. over over. It doesn't have play to be skillfully, which is basically a command like play to, you know, play with the skill that you've trained for, mm -hmm. you know, as if you were playing to an if you're playing to an audience, you would pu put your best foot forward, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be playing to God, you know, why wouldn't you do the same? Yeah. Uh, and then shout for joy, which, you know, it should be an enjoyable, you know. Right. You, know, you should the joy, you know, that you feel while playing, you should try and make that visible so that other people can see it too right even though sometimes when you like i'm introverted only <laughs> only when i'm playing um drums and stuff is this not necessarily the case right it's um, like when putting on a show that kind of thing it's very easy to be a little bit more outgoing you are one of the most happy people whenever you were playing with um oh geez i have now blanked on their name <laughs> Uh, there's Glasnost. Glasnost, yes. I was, I was also a Mercenary X. Yeah, right, wait, with Mercenary X, you were more just exhausted? Well, uh, that's true. There's a lot of double bass pedal. <laughs> it's a lot more I mean, exhausting. You were also exhausted with Glasnost, but that was because you were the happiest freaking drummer I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you get a write-up at one point for just being I'm, the happiest drummer at a show with Glasnost? I think it might have been in a blurb for one of the shows we did at, like, Summerfest. Right, I think okay. that's the case. Right. Google. Google? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the other thing uh, that comes up in in music uh, is, as, as he said, uh, bands that aren't Christian uh, with Christian messages. Um, so, like, a good one, or not necessarily Christian messages, and I almost killed myself right there, not necessarily <laughs> Christian messages, but um, with songs that can be used uh, for, for Christian purposes. Uh, yeah, this is what you have to do to get past this guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. And do I realize what I have to do? Nope, not yet. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, that's done. Uh, but songs that you can use in a Christian setting. For example, um, I Will Wait by Mumford & Sons or sure. Awake My Soul by Mumford & Sons. Or even, um, hold on, wait, hold, wait. Uh, still haven't, still haven't found what I'm looking for by you two. Okay, yep, that's another one. Uh, Tightrope and Crossfire by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, let's see, uh, Presence of the Lord by Eric Clapton and Steve Winwood for Blind Faith. Like, there, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you some lyrics. See so you tell me what the song is. Okay. Well, I mean, I think probably the song name will be in the lyrics, but still. Probably. Let's see what happens. Let's see. When you feel that something's wrong, I'll shelter you and keep you warm. I'll never let you walk alone. I loved you when you still hated me. I'm coming and it won't be long. Time to reap what I have sown. Never ever let you walk alone. I know your enemy. It once was me. Oh, hey, here's that uh, that picture again. <laughs> they seem to be talking about plagues. <laughs> yes, they're talking about the frog plague. That's a frog, by the way. Now, this <laughs> is me cycling through the pictures from the, <laughs> For funsies. From the... <laughs> like, hmm... There's a, I feel like there's a brief change. Uh, it was a color palette shift, but maybe it was a different tunic. <laughs> I think the, the color palette shift is because the frog, they changed to a lighter color and there can only be so many colors on screen. So what uh, song? Uh, that'd be Walk Alone by uh, Green Day. It's not Green Day. Dang. Uh, Although the song is called Never Walk Alone. So it was close. You're close. Okay. What is it? It's Never Walk Alone by Megadeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megadeth would be one of those bands where I don't know any of the lyrics to any of their songs, <laughs> but I know a bunch of their riffs. Yes, so those juicy, juicy riffs. Those juicy riffs. Mustaine, I don't like his voice, but man, That's he can true. play. Hey, you know what? It's improved over the years. It's I wouldn't improved. exactly call it like, you know, he's... I wouldn't say he's a good singer, but is certainly um, he certainly has a unique delivery. He's got a unique uh, tone of voice, and like to to be honest, I haven't listened to a lot of the live stuff, but he he seems to be on pitch and in control of the pitch of his voice. His tone is just not 
traditionally pleasing. And if a singer can remain in tune, um, I don't, I'm not too harsh on them. Uh, just in general, because like being in tune is hard for some people who actually know how to make the right you know, sounds with their mouth. Uh, Something I'll say about Dave Mustaine specifically mm-hmm. that I'm actually that I'm impressed about as you know years go on and still he's still making music. But yeah, it's the ability. So like his singing delivery, like like we mentioned, it's not it's not like traditionally singing. Like he's not he doesn't have like a huge range. He's not gonna like you know go into operatic you know vocals or anything. Also, he sounds like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't know what to interpret that one. <laughs> i will say this the ri- okay so the rhythms of the vocals are often very well i'm gonna say this is probably true of most metal music and death metal especially are very unusual and mm-hmm. they usually don't fit very well and actually better death metal music actually puts some thought into like the syllable structure instead of right. just you know well that's that's not just like good death metal like good music good anything, writing sure a like, lot of times it seems secondary but in the case right. of dave mustaine specifically the ability to like sing and also play guitar solos <laughs> at the same time yeah while keeping these extremely weird rhythms is quite bit. impressive <laughs> that is the impressive bit it's it's um malcolm are you gonna go under the cables i've lifted them for you nope you're gonna sniff my back all right um that that is an an obscenely hard thing to do as as somebody who plays bass and sings on a regular uh, uh regular basis ha uh, um, uh, your regular basis ha uh, I tried to come up with a different <laughs> word and failed I tried to avoid the pun you'll lean into it lean into uh, it I guess uh the uh like singing and playing rhythms that don't match is really really hard um the times that I can do it really well are when I actually have to simplify a bass part to make the singing work. Um, Or I just practice the snot out of it, which I don't... Yeah, that is a way to do it as well. (laughs) That's From personal experience, that does work. (laughs) That does work. And it's just that there are times when it is is necessary by a lot. Um, But the... uh, A a good example of a... of a, A Christian artist... Uh, who is mu- very musical uh, with how he writes, with, is musically very talented, and throws a lot lyrically as well into everything, is Michael Card, um, who we are going to talk about a lot more next episode. Bum, bum, bum. So if you... Wait, uh, maybe, that's not, maybe that's not the right jingle. <laughs> that's not the right jingle for Michael Card. But, but don't take my word for it. But um bum. Yeah. Uh, so if you liked that, uh, if you liked us rambling about music and talking about puppies and other things <laughs> for... Occasionally talking about puppies and mega death and Christian music. Music for, for 20-something minutes. Uh, please, uh, give to our Patreon so that we can continue to do this, uh, on a regular basis. Uh, if you want to give a buck a month, that's super cool. Like, that that's would be great. much appreciated. That's 12 bucks a year. That'd be awesome. <laughs> like, a lot. That'd be a lot awesome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got a lot more wisdom tree to go. This is only the second Exodus episode, so we've got a lot to do. And since, uh, uh, I've got the, the new computer because I have great friends. Thank you, Johnny. I'm just saying your first name because I don't know if you want your last name said for, you know, the wide internet sure, audience. Sure. More people fair. know who That's he is fair. because he's actually on the radio. But whatever. Uh <laughs> Johnny uh gave me just and oh I just I have this old laptop that I don't use that's better than your computer in every way. I was like, oh yeah, you built it, didn't you? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh so thank you, Johnny. Um it's yeah, a laptop so, with an SSD and an internal terabyte drive. Yeah. It's pretty that's great. pretty nice. It's pretty nice for a laptop. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Um, but uh, I will I will actually be able to record new episodes of that. So the next episode we're going to be getting uh, is actually going to be another Bible buffet. Bum, bum, bum. That's a little more accurate. That's food trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. There's some some violent. Yeah. There's some food violence. <laughs> there's some food on food violence. It's a food fight. That's a food. Yep. It's food fight yeah. for the Atari 2600. You, you're right. 
I can't come up with an oh, hu- oh the humanity pun. Hold on. Oh, the hummus? No. Oh, the hummus? <laughs> oh, the oh the hummusity? No, that doesn't work. Um. Uh. Stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> Squilly, no. Uh, look over there. <laughs> uh, okay, good enough uh, for an ending. <laughs> <laughs>